hello guys welcome back to my channel today i just want to take you through the process of using microsoft excel in case you don't know microsoft excel is just a data entry subject whereby you have to uh, use it to calculate certain um, figures when you are given the work to do so with this particular subject you are supposed to understand that it uses what we call cells and what are cells cells are just these boxes you are seeing these are what we call cells so they are written like this they call them cells so these cells are very important um, when it comes to calculations because without these cells there's no way you are going to calculate uh, these figures of these students so in this students performance table we are going to use formulas to calculate uh, the total mean max average grade and remarks so you can see this program it has insert page formulas data review view and also it has this fx this is what we call functional bar so in case you don't know, I'm using Microsoft Excel 2007. I know there are some uh, latest versions like 2010, 13, 16, 19, 2021, 20, uh, 2023. But the formulas that I'm going to tell you today apply to all the versions. So if you are having 2023 version, the latest one, don't worry. It is going to apply to your version. What you're supposed to do is just to understand the concept. So, if you want to calculate total of students according to this table, you are supposed to come to this cell, which is called cell C, and then G. So you're going to use the formula. Uh, the formula is, is equal to sum into bracket. You come and click here, and then you drag this one to the last subject then you close bracket and then you enter it will give you the total alternatively you can delete that one and then you use the shortcut by dragging like this then you come here to auto sum then click sum like that it will give you total so once you are done with this it means that you come to this small dot at the corner and then you hold down your left uh, button of the mouse and you drag drag it down then it will give you the sum of the rest of the students it is just as simple as that and when it comes to calculating mean you are going to use the same method by coming here you say is equal to mean into bracket you say uh, c c2 we're going to click here then you are going to drag to where the last subject is. Then you close, you enter. The same applies to max. You're going to say is equal to max into bracket. You come here to this, you drag it, and then you close like that. Is equal to average. into a bracket uh, you drag this to this and then you close then you enter i'll show you how to find the grade but once you ha once you are done with this which means you are supposed to do like this and then you drag down it will give you the figure for the rest so uh, you can also use the same shortcut for this particular uh, columns by coming here you drag like this and then you come here to auto sum if you want to calculate mean you will click on mean again you repeat the same process if you want to calculate max you will click on max it will go to it will go exact it will provide for you the answer to that cell automatically so you will drag like that and then you come here to average so if you want to drag this, the rest of the students, you will do like that, just as I have told you earlier. So once you are done with that, which means you are left with grade. And how are you going to calculate grade? 
The good thing is that we have average. So we are going to use average to, cal to calculate what? Grade. So we are going to say uh, average is at K. We are going to use what we call if functions. So with these if functions, we are going to say is equal to if into bracket, we are going to give a range. Uh, we are going to say uh, K, if, if, if K2 is greater than 85 then we put a comma um, we make that uh, we, 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 we open quotes and then we are going to say that is A we close and then we go to the next we say if into bracket K2 is greater than um, is greater than what? 80, comma, open quotes. We say that one is going to be A minus, and then we close. We continue like that. If K2 greater than 75. We, you see, we, have, we, are, we started with 85, 80, 70, which means we're going to go down until we reach to the list. So that one is going to be comma, and then we open quotes. We're going to say B, uh, we can say B plus, comma. We introduce again, we say if into bracket K2 is greater than um, 70, comma, is greater than comma, uh, that is comma, then we open quotes, this is going to be B, plain, then we close, we do the same, we say if, uh, into bracket, K2, greater than 65 comma open quotes we're going to say this is b minus and then close like that we continue with the same say k2 is greater than uh, 60 comma open quotes we are going to say this is C, uh, C plus, and then we close. We say if into bracket K2 is greater than uh, 55, comma, then we say uh, that one we are going to say C what? C plane. And then, again, we open if into bracket K2 is greater than uh, 50. Then we, clo we, clo we open the quotes. We say that one is going to be C. Uh, it's going to be C minus. We close quotes comma, we open if again into bracket K2 is greater than uh, 45, comma, open quotes, we say that one is going to be D plus, we close quotes, comma, if into bracket K2 is greater than um, 40, comma, we say that one is going to be D, is going to be D minus, we close quotes. We proceed 
if into bracket k2 is greater than uh, that one we have already put d uh, no we made a mistake this one is supposed to be d plain and then we we close like that and then we open then we open another if if into bracket k2 is greater than uh, 35 comma that one we are going to say uh, it is d minus and then we close with a, we close that one with a comma and then we open if k if k2 or we can because there we are reaching the end and uh, there's no there's no need of of, of doing of, of opening another if what you are supposed to do is just to put a comma there and then you put the last uh, you put the last grade so we are going to say uh, we're going to say e because in our country e is the last so we are going to say e so after doing that it means that you are going to calculate the number of ifs that you have used so this one one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven so i'm going to close brackets 11 times one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and then i enter you see it has already given me the grade so what i'm supposed to do is to drag and then it will give me for the rest so once that one is done the remaining thing is about um remarks how am i going to put remarks for this like people who have failed who have passed like that so i'm going to use another formula called lookup so that lookup it goes like this is equal to lookup into bracket so with the lookup we're going to begin with the smallest performance as we go up so here we are going to say k2 we're going to say k2 comma and then you open this bracket then we are going to say 0 to 20 to 30 40 50 60 70 80 and maybe 90 then we close close that bracket then we put comma we open the same another bracket like that and then we say we start by saying if somebody has performed has got zero it means that we open quotes we say that person has failed just say fail comma if somebody has got uh, somebody has got uh, 20 that person we are going to say poor we close quotes comma then you say if somebody has got 30 between 20 to 30 that person could have uh, we can say uh, pass and then we close we open another quote so if between 40 to 50 that person could be like uh, could be trial and then we close between 50 to 60 we can say average and then we close then between 70 to 80 we can say uh, with 70 you can say we can open this we say good comma and then uh, with 80 we can say now this one we can say 
uh, very good close and then with eight we can say excellent and then we close the quotes like that then you have to close this bracket and then followed by the first bracket that you started with close then from there you enter if it brings you that, that one which means you are supposed to drag it down like this and then it will give you the uh, it will give you the performance of the rest the, uh, the, the remarks for the rest so here uh, if you want to bring these things into alphabetical order you are supposed to come you can you can decide to choose this average and then you highlight you can either choose uh, average or total and then you come here to filter then you start with um, you start with the largest to smallest then here you continue as you can see all the performance have started with excellent going like that until average so which means with excel uh, if you have done the calculation for this and you want to continue calculating for the rest which means you have to highlight like this and then you come here to this one here you drag a little bit down uh, that means these cells have already been calculated so by the time you indicate another performance of anybody here so by the time you mix up this max in terms of performance it has already calculated the rest for you that is a good thing with uh, excel you see it has already calculated the rest for me you see so that is how you can be able to use excel in terms of calculating for average grade and max so guys if you have something that you want to share with us please there's a comment section you can do it